Good afternoon folks and uh, a very warm welcome and uh, I hope you're all having a good uh, May Day bank holiday. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, what we've got, what we've got today, is turn the soldering iron on, and we'll always be prepared. Anyway, uh, what we've got today, we're going to look at. I was going to. This is. Let me just tell you. This is one of Phil's uh, little items that he purchased. This is a uh, an Alba uh, portable radiogram uh, from uh, the nineteen sixties, and this is valve, I presume. Um, and uh, I'm assuming it's valve, probably small uh, D series valves. I do not know, I could be wrong, but uh, there's not a great deal in this, I would think. And this is a nice clean unit. I mean, there's a little, the only, the only imperfection I can see really is a little hole in the speaker grill here, a little, little hole there. Uh, but apart from that, this thing's actually lovely. Uh, the, you know, it's got a nice patina to it. The, you know, the handle's nice and clean. The catches are just well worn, really. I mean, you know, with age, it's not rusty. Uh, we we'll have a look around the the other side. Uh, you can see where there's some been on the top. Somebody scrubbed it off. Uh, look at that. The hinges on the back are nice. Uh, this is overall a nice little uh, attractive little uh, radiogram. It's as I say, it's a portable radiogram. Uh, I, I don't know whether I've got the manual for it. I'll find out when I get it open. Uh, and in there we've got the little uh, the little BSR, uh, which has got the wrong clip on it because that clip is not for even even that if it's the right clip, it's in the wrong position because you can lift the turntable off. Anyway, uh, basically, um, I've checked the cartridge, and the cartridge is dead. So no, no, no need worry about that. We'll put that out of the way. Uh, we'll find a suitable replacement. Um, it's a two-core lead. I'm not sure if it can be upgraded to a three. Um, uh, it's a... Uh, you know, I, w I would imagine uh, there's probably one audio valve in this, and I would imagine there's probably one audio valve. I'm just looking for a screwdriver to fit the screws to get the cover off. There's one audio valve, oh, there we go, in this, and... Uh, Probably one of probably two radio valves. I don't know, it might be a bit more complicated, but I can't see it. I mean, but this whole thing is in lovely condition. I mean, even the screws, I don't know where this thing's been, but even the screws, it's you know, the, the whole thing in overall is all is in overall nice condition. I mean, I can't believe. Let me just get this top off this paint. I've got somewhere to put the screws in so don't they don't get lost. And you know the the whole thing is in is in generally nice condition, and uh, you know. Uh, but what this suffers with, I've had this on. I, I tried it last night. I've actually had this plug. Oh, screwdriver trying to get away from me. I've had it plugged in and switched on, and it's uh, get the cover off here. Put that there. Right, what have we got in here? Oh, it's pretty tightly packed. Wow. Wow, that is... No, they're not, they're not what I thought. I thought they were... Uh, I thought they were D-series valves. They're not the regular size valves. There's a... Uh, your buttons there for your long and medium wave. It does hum this. There is a hum on it, so... Uh, not a serious like filter capacitor hum. It's not that kind of a hum. It's just a hum, you know. And it's there. It goes up and down with the volume, but there's very low output from the radio. 
and not much more from the record player so we're looking at you know this is actually this is actually a pretty nicely made unit to be honest I mean I mean not like the shit that Alba made today uh, I get the feeling though it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to strip down right, well those screws don't want to come out of the case so I'll leave them in for now does that one come out? no it might be captive I do not know but if they stay in the K, if they stay in the motor board, that's all well and good. And they're actually machine screws. These, these are not wood. I don't think they are anyway. I think they're machine screws. Oh no, 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 they're not the self tappers. I thought they were machine screws. They're not. Because they, they, they actually feel like machine screws, and they, but they're not. But we'll see. See, we don't know whether there's a mains transformer in this, whether there's not, I don't know. I can't see one, but there again, it's pretty, I don't think anybody's ever had this apart before. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll take the turntable off. We'll put the turntable over there out of the way. And there we go. Lift the motorboard out. Take that thing out, put that over there. Right, that's the aerial for the medium wave. And how is this dealt with? Well, luckily, uh, there's your power supply there, look, folks. Power supply is here, mounted on the back of the motor board. Uh, that's a novel way of doing it. It's got a selenium rectifier. I love selenium rectifiers. Do you know why I love selenium, selenium rectifiers? Because they're usually fucked. That's why I love selenium rectifiers. Because they're usually fucked. And there's your little mains transformer. Look, you've got a little diddy main transformer there. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Let me zoom you in and show you this. You know, uh, you might think that's the output transformer, but it fucking ain't. Uh, and it's got a single ECL80 for the output valve for the audio and uh, I don't know what the radio valves are but there's two of them and uh, you know we've got uh, the output transformer down the bottom here un un bolted to the speaker uh, we've got a capacitor across the line a paper one one of them that go bang after a few years so that'll be coming out um, you've got the wiring here for the pickup, uh, and there's your uh, main smoothing can. Well, that's 300 volts AC max. There's no way on earth that that's going that little transformer is going to be putting out that. No way on earth. So what we what 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 we really need to be doing here. Uh, we need to look at where the power lead goes and see if it's connected to. See that? See that? Uh, that transformer might only be to drive the valve eaters. I don't know. Uh, that might only be for the valve eaters. That little transformer. I can't see that being for the mains. So if that's the case, then I won't be able to put a free core lead in it. But uh, you know, we're uh, yeah. That's. Uh, got a big resistor across the capacitor we've got another resistor here uh, to limit to surge limit into the rectifier um, it's nice to see a selenium rectifier because they're usually fucked and that'll be what the problem is with this it'll be low it'll be low on HT so let's see where let's see where our power comes in and see if we can do a power lead upgrade on this. This is like I say, this is another one that belongs to Phil and uh, basically it's 
there. Pardon me, I've just appled. But the, the nice thing about this is it's got the right coloured leads in the power lead, so if I can't do the mains lead upgrade, that's no problem. It doesn't have to be done because, you, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, I'll need to look at the circuit, I think. So we've got the power going in there. Uh, what colour have we got coming off the switch? We've got a red, we've got a green... Uh, bear with me. Uh, let me just tilt it towards me so I can see. Put my hand there so nothing moves about. Right, so the power lead. Ah. Uh, we think we've got one side of the power lead going to chassis. Power lead goes to the on-off switch. Goes across that def capacitor which will be coming out because then things go bang. Uh, that's the audio capacitor there because it's got the tone correction capacitor in there uh, yeah yeah and the speaker comes from yeah and the speak the speaker comes off that transformer so that's obviously the output one but look at that little diddy transformer that'll be just for the what do you call it's that uh, because the that that'll just be for the uh, that little one there that'll just be for the what do you call it that'll be just for the valve eaters uh, because they you know they they're, they're using E series valve which means the valves are uh, six point three volts so and the, there's a switch here which is radio and gram and conveniently enough uh, when you switch it to gram. It turns off the heaters for the radio for the for the radio because I noticed when I tried it last night uh, and I when I tried it last night and I put it onto radio there was nothing and then the radio started to warm up so I'm assuming that's how that works but uh, the switches don't crackle the vo volume doesn't crackle uh, nice clip to it. Um, we're mounted on a circuit board there. Uh, everything looks okay in there. No spunk coming out of anything, out of any capacitors. We're looking all right there. Uh, it's basically, you know, it's basically, basically, it's built to a price, obviously, but it's designed to be portable, very portable. But uh, let's see where our rectifier's being fed from. Right. Let's try and work out where our rectifier is being fed from. Fred, Fred, even Fed, Fred, yeah. So we we actually get. Uh, I do have to check that capacitor. I think that capacitor there is okay. If it is, it can stay. Uh, the 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 but they're both both capacitors in there are fifty microfarads. So we'll, what we'll do, we'll uh, we'll check that out in a bit. Uh, we we only have halfway of rectification on this, uh, so ba basically uh, we've got uh, let me think yeah we've got the right so we've got. I'm just working out where the AC comes in. The AC comes in up this green wire into this transformer. This transformer f feeds the valve eaters. Um, and the record deck is connected to this as well. And when you press it to radio, the record deck is disconnected. There's a lot of 240 volts. Uh, there's a lot of mains voltage flying around this thing. Uh, so you know if you service one of these that's what I've noticed if you service one of these be, be, be super careful there's a lot of mains voltage floating around this thing uh, because uh, scraps shut up I'm trying to explain something basically if we look at this if we look at the way it's if we look at the way it's configured if I find a a pokey tool there we go 
basically the motor for the record deck connects here and you've got mains input coming up this green wire here from the switch this is that green wire it comes up here and it goes to here on the output on the power transformer but this transformer bear in mind this transformer is only driving the heaters uh, as far as I can see and basically you've got a switch here which is gram and radio and when you press it to gram it switches the motor on and when you switch it to radio it turns the motor off but by the same lines it also disconnects the valve eaters I believe and just leaves the audio valve running I think that's how they're doing it I'll need to look at the circuit and to look at the circuit and find out what model it is and I can't seem to work that out uh, there's, a, there's a number in the cabinet here which is A003359 but I think that might be just a cabinet number. I don't know, I don't know whether that's the actual model number. But uh, we're going to start. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have a cup of tea. This is just a quick overview of the circuit uh, as I see it at first glance. Uh, this is just a quick overview of the circuit at first glance because I want to have a cup of tea and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I was going to say, uh, no, I thought they were, no, they're not machine screws. Good quality though. I mean, uh, this uh, this has never been worked on, and uh, we get these paper capacitors out of there. I mean, there's not a lot of shit in here to be honest, considering that this was built to a price. This is actually, I think, this is actually not bad. Uh, I don't think this is a bad unit at all. Um, I mean, they've, they've configured it the way they've configured it so that they can get it into this small con small cabinet. You know, uh, can get, they can get everything. It is densely populated. Uh, this capacitor here has been, been dripping shite, but uh, that's coming out anyway. That's just, that just stops it going pop when you turn the damn thing on and off. That's all that's for. And uh, that's coming out. And uh, there's a bit of grease, a bit of wax on the transfer on the top of that transformer, uh, tuning transformer, uh, IF transformer, whatever it is. But this, I'll tell you what it's a bit like. Uh, this is a bit. This reminds me of the uh, the RG thirty one. In where you've got, uh, you know, but the only difference is the RG thirty one has two audio valves in it. But this is this is a very similar idea uh, from Alba. It's a very similar idea. I mean, and it's in all honesty. I mean, I've seen worse. Um, I've seen better I suppose but I've certainly seen worse and I'm not going to start slagging it off because I've just been praising it you know I, I do think the construction is very, uh, very nice it's nice if I have to change this it's nice and easy um, there's plenty there for me to work on I mean uh, you know I don't have to go into I don't have to take this out uh, which if I do it's only two bolts um, just get me nut spinner in there and pull the two bolts out, pull the two nuts out this that'll release all this and let me work on it but I can access everything I need to uh, because well, I know where the problem is it's that fucking selenium rectifier they always go it's shite uh, so what we'll do we'll start by putting a new diode in um, you know I'll, uh, uh, I don't think I need to, uh, let's see where, just have a quick look where the white wire comes from that drive, that powers that. Right, well, yeah, we, yeah, we're getting mains voltage. Yeah, we are, so we're not going to do a mains, a mains lead upgrade on this. Uh, because, let me just get my meter, uh, if I'm right, we should have AC. We should we should have continuity uh, for put the meter where we can all see it. If I put this onto continuity, uh, put this on ground. Uh, where's the where's the plug? So we'll get the neutral neutral side of the plug. make sure we're yeah get the neutral side of the plug and 
Oh no we're not, no we're not, oh, what about this side, no, no we could probably earth that deck, we could probably earth that because we're getting nothing. No, it's not as I thought. I thought one side of the power lead would be connected to chassis, but it doesn't look as though it is. No. Uh, let's go to ground, which would be this one here. No, that's not even grounded. No, oh, that deck ain't even grounded. We've got a problem here. We've got a ground issue here. Because... What are we on? See what we're on. We're on gram. Let's test this red one. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, that's that, 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 that's, that, that's that one, so... Yeah, that's positive. Let's pick up positive. Getting anything on that ground? Anything there? Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? You'd expect. Yeah. So one side, one side of the chassis, I would have thought went to ground, but you know, I would have thought one side of the plug would have gone to ground, but it doesn't appear that it does. You know because. I'd like to do the three core upgrade, up, 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 upgrade, but I'm not going to because, to be perfectly honest, I don't trust it. Oh, hang on a minute. The reason why we... There we go. Turn that meter back on. Nothing there. See, I like to be certain of things, you see. Yeah, we're getting... Oh, hang on, let's put the... Yeah, we've got a reading there. Let's put the meter up here. Let's go across there. Nothing. Oh, yeah, there is. Two hundred and thirty-two ohms. Connect to the ground. Ah, there we are. One side of the chassis. One side of the chassis does go to ground. So we can't do the free core upgrade. One side of the chassis goes to ground. I thought it had to. It was confusing me there for a minute. I didn't have the fucking on-off switch turned on, did I? Like a dopey fucker. Anyway, uh, so we know we can't do the free core upgrade on this unit, but that's not a problem on this because the wires are coloured, and as long as the colour code is obeyed, uh, then that's fine. I will check the plug and everything, 
and make sure it's got the correct rating fuse and stuff in it which should be free between three and five amp so I'll make sure that it's got the correct rated fuse and um, you know we'll get this little selenium rectifier swapped out and we'll also check I mean uh, we'll also check uh, the capacitor the big one here see what we get I hope I can check it in the circuit to be honest uh, without having to disconnect uh, all the wires from it if I have to then I will but I'd rather I'd rather try and check it in the circuit and get a reading I mean my little peak tester is supposed to do that but sometimes it doesn't but if you haven't got one of those little peak atlas testers you need to think about it because I tell you what they save a lot of they save you a lot of time in your day you know I mean I swear by mine and you know for what they are they're a brilliant little brilliant little tool they're a great little tool for what they are uh, you know I've got a bit of a headache this morning as well, or this afternoon. Not my lunch yet. I might feel better when I've had my lunch, but you know, uh, you know, Phil's not coming again. They're not visiting me again till the end of the month, so or thereabouts. So I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of time to work on these, but you know me, folks. I won't also like sitting around twiddling my fingers and not getting out done. If there's a repairing, then it's going to get done. But we're going to start with that selenium rectifier and get that out of the equation and get a proper diode in there. And, uh, you know, see where, see, see where we get to. We might have to put a surge limiter resistor in uh, because, uh, you know, we're coming straight off the, straight off the AC. say if we have to I've got some knocking about I mean with the dance sets you don't have to put a surge limiter resistor in because the uh, the valves that it uses can handle the voltage that comes off the transformer whereas this is uh, this is full main full, full mains voltage on this thing so I actually thought when I opened it, now when I look at the circuit, I actually thought when I opened it, that little transformer, that's nowhere near, that's that's not the mains transformer, that's just for the heaters. Uh, that just goes to your heaters, that just drives your heaters. And you've got, uh, this aerial AM aerial needs tightening. It's flapping about a bit in the breeze, that needs tightening. So we'll tighten that up. Uh, like I say, there's no crackle on the volume control or anything. Uh, radio does actually pick up stations, does tune in, uh, but it's very quiet. And I'm putting it all down to this little recce here, so we're gonna put a new one in. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna do what some people do. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in there because it's it means unbolting the, the 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 heater transformer and fucking about and get it out. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the rectifier as basically just something to hold the original uh, to hold the new diode but I'm only going to solder it to one side and leave the other side with nothing on it just snip the pin off so there won't be any electricity going through uh, the uh, there won't be any electricity going through the rectifier itself, there'll be nothing on the rectifier. Uh, and uh, just a quick update on the uh, the mouse piss radiogram. Um, uh, 
Um, I've asked Graham if I can leave it for a day or two. He says I can. So I can get some other things I need to get sorted out. Uh, Graham's not in a rush to get that back. He knows it's in good hands. And uh, I need to order capacitors. Uh, I need to order some capacitors in. So we may not even get this done today. But we'll try our best. See if we can. Because... Uh, you know, a lot of people change capacitors when they don't really have to. You know, there's no need to change a capacitor if there's no need to change a capacitor. You know, you don't just change them for the fun of it. That just costs you more money, costs the customer more money in the end. And if you can leave the original in, I mean, I mean, uh, under Phil's ownership, uh, this is not going to get a lot of use. This is going to be a unit he pulls out every now and again and he uses. Because I've told him to, you know, because he collects record players, and I've told him to cycle his record players, you know, not continue using the same one, but alternate between a different one every few, every couple of months or a week or something, every couple of week or a month or something daft, you know, just alternate a few every between them and make sure they all get at least a bit of play time, and that way uh, everything stays fresh in them. You know, everything stays okay and they don't gum up or out like that. And, I mean, there's nothing really to gum up in this. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be really easy to service. I mean, this mechanism, I can service this with it in the case. With it in the board, I don't even have to take it out to service this one. It's, uh, all, all I need to service really, give the, give the motor a drink of oil. I can do it with it in there, I believe. And, uh... I can uh, uh, get a bit of grease because this is completely dry. The speed mechanism, so I can get a bit of grease on that. And the new, I noticed the neutral position doesn't work. So that's that's only because it just needs a bit of grease. That's all. Once it's done, it'll be fine. The idler's good. The turntable turns nicely, although it does need a drink of oil. It's got no water. No water. Bloody hell! It's got no oil on its bearing, so that needs to be done. What I might do is put a very thin, thin film of grease on the bearing and also put oil on it as well, a uh, little bit of both and, oh pardon me, where's my fag lighter gone, it was here a minute ago, it was here because I let me bloody fag with it, there it is, and you know, but it's not. It's, you know, it's it's not a case of that he uses the same one every day. You know, this will be something he'll pull out every now and again, and he'll switch it on and listen to the radio for a bit and play a few records on it or something. But you know, uh, the main one, you know, uh, the main one uh, is daily driver, if you like. Uh, that he's going to be using a lot of and he really really likes it's his favorite one that's his senator and he wants uh, you know he wants that back as soon as he can get it because he really does like that one so when we've done this we'll do that one and uh, you know he's, he's not coming until the end of the month but if he wants to you know if he Yes. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, anyway, you know, like I say, uh, but he really does want his senator done. I mean, because uh, he really likes that one. He uses it a lot, and uh, apparently that just died on him. There's no sound. I haven't looked at it yet, but uh, from what he tells me, there's no sound. So. Uh, after this one's done, we'll get that one on the bench and get that one done. And uh, he can rest in the knowledge it's been done then. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of other stuff for, to do for him, as I said on the video, on the uh, show and tell video last night. There's a lot of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here for now because I'm going to get me lunch. Because I'm hungry. Uh, I want to get me lunch and a coffee, another coffee. Uh, I've not got any coffee left, it's run out. I don't mean I've run out of coffee, I mean I've got coffee in the kitchen, obviously, but none in my cup. 
So I need to make myself another brew, another coffee, and uh, what else? And make me lunch, and then come back and sort the stuff out I need for this, and get cracking on with it and get it done. Um, you know, and then and then I can get cracking on with his other stuff. Then I've got stuff here of mine which I'm going to do in between doing because he's, he's not coming for a month. Uh, I'll do a couple of Phil's jobs and then I'll do maybe look at me little. Uh, my little, what is it, my little Marconi, my little Marconi, Marconi record player I got yesterday. And uh, uh, that's working. I've actually had it on. The guy told me it was working, so I had no worries about plugging it in. Uh, that'll, have a, that, that'll have a BRC amp in it, which is the same as the HMVs and stuff like that. I could even do an upgrade to that if I wanted. I'm not going to, but I could. Because I've got a lovely HMV amp down here, and uh, which has got bass and treble. If I had the extra roll at the front, I'd, I'd actually upgrade it and put the bass, put the one with the bass and treble in. But I'm not going to because I've got another project in mind for that, and uh, I've got the steady old sound one to look at, which is a nice unit. Um, Needs a bit of cabinet work, just tightening up really, just tidying up. And that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I've got to rewire the speakers for that because the speaker wires are not very long and they've been chopped off, and I need to put some. Uh, the plugs are actually banana plugs. So whether I'm going to stick with banana plugs or fit to modern. To put a couple of two pin sockets in there I don't know yet because it won't matter it's it's nothing valuable it's nothing who's this someone coming up my path oh it, it's Mildred come in Mildred no you're right about that Mildred it's not so warm come in Right, so explain away. What do you want me to do? Right, there's a paper. Hang on, fucking key. Oh, it is. It's the service manual and the parts manual, right? You want me to print them out? Just basically, it's just one manual. It says it's seventy-nine or eighty-nine or something pages, but yeah. right, probably because it'll be doubled. Right, we'll leave that zipped up in there for yeah, now. Well, the things in here, I'm going to show you which one it is. Right, well, I'm going to have to. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, well, right, I'm gonna have to stop the video here then, aren't I? Because uh, I'm gonna have to go back to the computer. Get my so, laptop. Eh? Get my laptop. My laptop's not in here. It's in there, isn't it? Yeah, but it's flat as a witch's tit. Right, alright then. Yeah, I'll give it here. Put it in there. You can't go wrong anyway. It's the Seaberg 222. Yeah. Right, that you need to do. Right. Next to it, you'll see another one saying Seaberg V V Summer. Right. It's not that one, right? Just give it a ring anyway, I'll show you which one it is. Mm. It's not the LS1, it's not the LS2, right? It's no. the actual Seaberg. You'll see it 222, two, two, it's written on it. Right. So that's the one I need. What it is, it shows all the parts in the assembly <coughs> armor. Yeah. Right? That's what I need just to jog my fucking memory for when I took it to bits. Right. Because the well, other one leave that propped up there, the other, Graham, the other one doesn't show moment. it. Yeah. It just shows your bit here and there. Mm. But it doesn't show all the parts in one pit. You know what I mean? Because there's some springs that are actually that I haven't took off, which yeah. shows you in that this this format here that aren't there, they're probably rotted. Yeah. So I need to replace them. Right. Oh you missed out here having a brew? No, I've got to go and get her now. Right, you missed out before. Why? I farted. Fucking hell, it smells fresh, is it? No, well, it was fresh because it only came well, out well, of we know, we know, we don't want to know you shitting. And the, the world doesn't need to know. We know you're the greatest farter in the world. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. you're the greatest fucking moaner. That's why I've started calling you Mildred. Yeah. You don't have fucking so what you're fucking like with now, someone? Oh, you fucking know that shit. Yeah, this is, uh, what the, what this actually, this is actually quite nice, actually. Clean, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, isn't it, Just? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of Phil's. It's uh, a little Alba radiogram. I'm just going through. I'm just going through and explaining the circuit now, mm. as best I can. 
because it's all on a printed circuit board in the front here, behind yeah, here. Yeah, it will be, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's string you know. driven, won't it? Huh? String driven. Is it what? String driven. No, is it fuck? It's a, direct, it's a knob on the back here. Oh, right. It's got one of them wave tuner things in it, have it? Yeah, yeah. There's no, uh, there's no dial string on this. Yeah, it's no, not complicated. It I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, look at that little dinky transformer they've put yeah, in to drive yeah. the valve eaters. That's you know, funny enough, you know that one that I've got? Yeah. That last one I bought, that's mm. got one of them in it. Yeah, a little transformer to drive the valve yeah, eaters. Yeah, that's got one in it. Yeah, because uh, what I was, was going to do, I was going to do the power the power lead upgrade yeah. uh, to a free core, but you can't. Yeah. Because one side, one, one side of the chassis, the negative side of the mains goes to the chassis. No, I've just right. done the preliminary checks and, uh, you know, so we, go, so we can't do that. But luckily the wires are colour coded so I don't have to replace the power lead. Yeah. It's red and black so... You know which way they go around. We know which way and I'll double check the plug and everything. Right. Make sure that we're all, all, all correct there you see. And uh, But there's nothing to it. I mean I don't even have to take this mechanism out to service it. I mean... No, it's so clean isn't it? Oh it's lovely isn't it? I mean the cartridge is dead. Right. Yeah, yeah the cartridge is dead. But we'll find a cartridge to go in it. Uh, find something to go in it. But uh, yeah, the, 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 these things work. Yeah, he says they work. Yeah, mind you, mind you, mind, mind you. I, I was more concerned about this little HMV, a uh, little Marconi working, because as you know, I paid top dollar. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, well, and the guy said it worked anyway. He didn't did, he? yes. He assured me it worked, but so you know. Well, uh, but Nick Hyde was it? No, it's yeah, you're not in the market thing. for a record player, are you, Graham? No, I'm yeah. Well, me, I'm yeah. me. I've got loads of them, me like you. Yeah, you haven't got as many as me. Yeah, I know, but it's getting that way. Yeah, you know, uh, you're, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the shit back's over there, is it? All in bits? Yeah, you, you, your mouse piss radiogram, it's here. <laughs> it's not all in bits, I've just got the chassis out, the deck's in the bedroom so it won't oh, get damaged. Right. If you go and have a look at your deck, you haven't seen it, have you? Oh, go and have a look at your deck, it's on the, it's on the top in the bedroom. Yeah. Does it look good, that? Yeah. You want to get them on your Facebook market and start getting rid of a few of them. I know, but I, I know, but the problem is, uh, I need to revisit the the Benetton president because after it's been on for a bit, it develops a crackle in the left side, mm. and I also noticed that somebody at some point in the past somebody recapped it, oh, right. and uh, the capacitors are too small, and I only noticed that the capacitors are too tall, should I say? And I only noticed the other day that when you you can't screw the deck down because it, the motor bottoms out on one of the capacitors, so I've got, I can't send it out like that. No, no, we'll just leave that one and get the rest. Yeah, down. but th th this this Omex that's good, uh, that's good to go. Uh, this Marconophone uh, that that can go as I will give it a look over. Yeah. It, but that can go. I'll put a new stylus in it. But it only, although I gave him twenty pound, it only cost me nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, because it, yeah, it had a penny stuck on the arm. Luckily, it was stuck on with blue tack or chewing gum <laughs> or something, not fucking glue. <laughs> and it had a penny stuck on the arm. Yeah. So, you know, I'll put a new stylus in that and I'll give the mechanism a overall yeah. and go over the amplifier. But there's no hums or crackles or nothing, so I won't be replacing anything. Unless 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 there's spunk coming out or something, I won't be I won't be unless there's spunk coming out of a capacitor. Then nothing in that I'll be getting replaced. Okay, I tell you what, that fucking I had a fucking play with that jukebox last night. I didn't get to where it was going. Yeah, give us a second, Graham. The actual printer. Yeah, give, give us a second. Right, listen, folks, I'm going to end it here because, uh, as you know, I've got Mildred round. <laughs> uh, I'm going to end it here. And I'm gonna get me lunch and a brew, and uh, we'll pick this up a bit later on, folks. Thanks for watching. Oh, this is part one, by the way. Uh, join me in part two when we start changing the rectifier, because I'm pretty sure it's just a rectifier, because there's nothing horrible in this, no horrible hums or nothing. So it's just a rectifier, and we want to get rid of that capacitor that goes across the on-off switch. That needs to go because it's got spunk coming out of it. There's grit, there's wax on the top of the shit on the top of that IF transformer. So that capacitor's going for sure. Uh, it doesn't need to be there. Uh, and if it does need to be, if I find it needs to be there, then I will put one in. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. And more to come later. Bye for now.